At 3.30 p.m., officers Brandis Ortega and Nate Garcia examine a huge seizure at the Nogales port of entry. Money, guns, and documents heading into Mexico. The guns are checked for serial numbers. This is your regular 9mm Beretta, same as what we use here in the military. 45 caliber 1911 series weapons, old military style. These are very popular in Mexico. Ooh, that's a nice one. The engraved weapon may be meant for a senior cartel member. Historically, that's what they use. They like to show off. Uh, they use gold-plated or nickel-plated. A U.S. citizen can go and purchase a regular gun and sell it to a smuggler for whatever the fee is going to be. So and that's how they end up going into Mexico. They call the straw purchases. And they use these guns to actually fight that war over in Mexico. So they use the money to bribe people in Mexico, to buy the guns, to buy more drugs. And Supervisory officer Sonia Peterson examines the seized documents. Mostly, you just see the, the money and not any type of letter like this. So this is unusual. Intelligence-driven research will be conducted, and this will be very, very useful to us. These are different debts that are old. So different people's names, uh, of course, their nicknames. It looks like a detailed account of people who were meant to receive the money and the intended amounts. They're trafficking these drugs, and they need to pay the people that did it. And if some people don't get money, um, some people die. So it's very serious. Um, well, in the 40,000, it looks like they seem to be all 100s. You can see inside through the cellophane. Eights, we got 49. 40s, we got 7. 420s, 122, one of 3,000, one of 1,100. Right now we're gonna lock up the door. We're out on camera, we are being recorded. There's three officers. They're gonna count it, they're gonna hand it to the next officer, they're gonna recount it, and then I'll put it through the money machine to get an exact count so we're not off by anything. After an exhaustive count, agents get a final number. Well, the total count after the currency verification was $799,422. It's my first seizure. <laughs> and for something so, so big like this, you know, but it, it's a great feeling. It's a little indescribable. Today's bust is significant. Agents believe that seizing money and guns helps to dismantle cartels.